Hello all, welcome to rotrainers.com. In this particular session, we'll dis discuss about how do we create a journal, okay? And also we'll try to understand the basic tables involved for the general data, okay? So once you log into Oracle Fusion ERP, navigate the general accounting tab, and here click on the journals function. So it'll take us to general screen. So here, the first thing what you can observe is the data access set, okay? Make sure that you have the appropriate data access set until unless we have the appropriate data access set, we can't create it. And also the respective periods are open. So now just click on the task list. So here it shows the different set of task list, task list. but today in our like session, we'll just only discuss about the create the journals, okay? So click on create journals. Once you click on create journals, so here, if you observe, right? So until unless an update, until unless an accounting period is open, we can't create a journal. That's the first basic criteria and also the data access. Once that is done, the next thing what you can do is just mention the batch details, okay? So there are totally three main entities in general creation. First is general batch, other one is general header, next one is general lines. So here, if you observe the, the top most information, which is general batch, next one is general headers, the last one is general lines. So in a given batch, in a given batch, it can have multiple general headers. And for a given general header, you can have multiple lines. So that's a linkage. For a given general batch, you can have multiple general, general headers. For a given general header, you can have multiple lines, okay? So this is a first level. Now let us say, I'll just mention XXORA batch two and just a description. And you can mention the period information. Now this is a, general name, let's say like a batch two, a general one. And based on the data access set, it will consider the appropriate ledger and accounting date based on the creation date generally it considers and the accounting period, you can modify or else you can just go with the current period and the currency, this generally gets populated based on the ledger which you get selected. Now, next thing is you need to enter the lines, okay? So this one, this particular icon, this is a KFF icon, just click on this KFF icon, it opens a pop-up. You just click on search. Okay, you can select the any of the existing account or if you want to specify, if you want, if at all, if you want to search, you can search them. Or for now, for our testing purpose, we can just simply select any of the account and just click on okay. So it'll provide the account information. And I'll just mention the amount as 150, okay? For a balance general entry, right? So the amount of debit should be equal to the amount of credit, okay? So I'll just create one more line. It's already there. Okay, I'll just select this and now here I'll select this one. I'll search it. Just mention any of the accounting entry. And I'll say 150 and now click on save. Okay. Okay. Category. So as we are generally entering the data via manual, I'll specify it as manual and click on save. So the data got saved. Now what we can do is so here, I'll just go to the BI data model and just click on view and let us see the general information, right? So this is the batch two, right? This is a batch two in which we have two lines, the first line and second line and the period name and the amount, right? So now here, if you observe how I'm getting all this data is like, as I told you, there are three tables involved. Just observe this one. The first one is GLJE batches. Next one is GLJE headers. Other one is GLJE lines, okay? So the linkage between a batches and JE headers is using a batch ID, nothing but JE batch ID. JE is nothing but journal entry, JE batch ID. This is a linkage between general batches as well as general headers, okay? And similarly, the linkage between JE headers, nothing but GLJE headers and GLJE line is nothing but JE header ID, okay? So based on this linkage, you can just simply write a query to get all the information, okay? And if at all, if you want to get the information about let us say like a ledger ID or chart of account segment, you have to join with our, I mean, other set of tables, okay? So for now, this is how we can just simply create a journal badge, general header and general lines. Let us say if you want to create one more journal, right? So as of now, this was a journal, right? So now let us say, I'll just want to create one more journal. I simply click on plus symbol here. It will create a new journal, and nothing but a new journal header in the same batch, right? So here I'm not entering the batch again. Let us say, I'll say batch two, J2. Okay, and I'll say manual. And here, uh, let us say I'll select the account information now. Search. 
okay I'll select 350 now and here. I'll select 350. Okay. Make sure that all mandatory parameters values on are entered and then click on save. Okay. Now the data got saved for the batch two, right? Just go to the data model BIP and just click on view. Let me just enable this one to 10 records so that we'll understand. Okay, so this particular two lines are for batch two and these two lines are for J1, right? Same batch, generality one, and same batch, generality two, right? And this is a 350 and this is 150, okay? Now, this is how you can create a general. And if at all, if you want to post it, you can post it as of now, it is just, it is not posted. So that's the reason the batch status is unposted. And you can just click on complete. So when you click on complete, the status will get status. I mean, the completion status will be completed. And if you just click on post, the status will be posted. Okay. And even in the database backend, the GL, J lines table or batch table, the status will be changed to P. Right. Some in some of this stuff, like, you know, it requires an approval based on that, it will go to, it will get into approach status okay so that's all about you know like a creation of a general in the oracle fusion erp thank you